sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Step Into the Portal. It's Sunday Night Marvel Champions. Woo! Sunday, I don't Sunday, think I got Sunday, to play Sunday. with any of you while everybody had things to do. So <laughs> I've been busy, too. Uh, so hello, I'm the Brant. Uh, I've just been playing Isofarian Guard and building a Wolverine Protection Rush deck, which I'm going to play tomorrow morning. So people can check that out for Marvel Champ Mon Monday Morning Marvel. I'm just going to play test my Wolverine, uh, Wolverine Protection rush deck i think i figured it out i think i can rush in all four aspects now <laughs> cool really nice say no hey nolan so that's got to be my next thing is to get you guys to join me for an all rush four player game an all rush four player yep that's we're gonna play fun. tom sawyer we're gonna play all the hits from oh no sorry yes hey we have rene de la france and we have brambe yeah hey, welcome rene. welcome nolan rene brambe sunday night brambe is here to correct all my mistakes just kidding brambe. nolan rene brambe <laughs> just all hey. goes together Awesome. Oh, uh, so what have you you guys were talking about the Witcher? Eric was avoiding the Witcher. Brian is making up scenarios for the Witcher. Uh yeah. Yeah, well, I wasn't avoiding. So I just got back <laughs> from a uh a weekend of board gaming with friends. Uh this is a group that I normally go to Gen Con with that we uh gather up about once a year outside of Gen Con and uh we're together Thursday through Sunday and just hanging out and uh playing games and um the Witcher was one of the highlights of the weekend, and I didn't actually get to play it because a buddy of mine who lives here in Nashville with me brought it with him, and there was so much interest from the other guys because we come in from Pittsburgh and Indianapolis and wherever. So I said, I can play this anytime. Brian's been hyping up this game so much. I need to play it, <laughs> but I, I gave my friends the chance. So hopefully in the next week or so. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll finally get to play The Witcher. Yes, and I already want to create custom content for that game. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Steve is taking his kids rock climbing, and they're passing out while climbing rocks. Awesome. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they just fall straight to the ground. Boom. They just fell. Ah. I wonder why they're asleep so early. <laughs> well, I started, I took them to the park this morning, like at 9, uh, and then we bike. It's like a four kilometers but for kids four kilometers it's, it's four kilometers there four kilometers back what is that and in fathom so for you americans that's, that's half a mile no four <laughs> kilometers is two and a half miles four, four kilometers that's like walking to your mailbox that's right there you go. yeah yeah so then uh, after that uh i took him for a snack and then we went to uh, my new job which is happens to be a rock climbing center as well and uh where i where this is where I take care of like 33 camps. It's like the head office, but it's also called Le Crux, which is a rock climbing center. Uh, and the like Crux. A, Le Crux. The Crux? Le Crux. Okay. It's, a, it's like a, it's a, it's a term for when you're climbing. Anyway, and then after that, we went swimming to one of my, my wife's friends. And then we went to my aunt, my, uh, the, her mom, her mother-in-law's. So we just got back. It's just like nonstop all day. Wow. So, yeah. I'm impressed you can keep going like that. I get tired after like 30 seconds on the trampoline. <laughs> really? I love trampolining. <laughs> oh, and like, today. We were on the trampoline for like 30 seconds. I was like, woo! I'm just I'm done. <laughs> and then uh, X23. The heat is the part I can't handle. Huh? X23, boys. Yeah, I can't handle heat at all. I don't like heat. Snicket, snicket. Uh, hey, Eric. Uh, yeah, Renee is talking about X23, insane for a rush game. I think so. I get some sense that that X23 might be more like a Quicksilver, where once you set her up, then the dominoes fall. She might be better for a one-turn kill ah, than dominoes. a rush. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll have to see You know, she, once that happens. I can't remember. She starts with 10 hit points, right? She has 10 hit points. I yeah, think, it's yeah. hard to remember from the article what was there and what yeah. I, it sounds right to me. And then yeah. it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I think there's a couple Wolverine, of cards that look really nice. Is Wolverine 10 as well? A base 10? Yeah. Wolverine's a base 10. Wolverine okay. is a base 10. Makes sense. He is, yes, he's right. a base 10. 
Yep. Nolan says, Star Lord, Captain Marvel, Wolvie, who's my preference for aggression and the best aggression rush? Well, it is Star Lord and Captain Marvel, but the best aggression rush in that case is probably Venom, is where you want to go. Venom. Venom has this, basically an eight yep. hand size or eight resources to start the game. So he comes out of the gate swinging. Gamora is very good. Um, and She Hulk and Hulk are the other ones that are very good as well. But they do get limited on their turn, too, with a four hand size. So. Yeah. You got to draw kind of the right <laughs> cards there. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Venom can cycle things, pay for things. He's got the extra resource every turn. So he's just got bigger hand size. Yeah, it makes sense, right? He would be the go to there. Uh, this is actually a great idea. This is actually what we should do. So there was a rush scenario at Kana Hero. So there's rescue Senator Kelly. Sorry, never rescue Senator Kelly. Just knock Sabretooth out. So that's oh. the one we should do. Um, and. Uh, We'll do it on expert. Why not? Right? I always say Welcome rushing is for standard, but we'll make it hard on ourselves and we'll play it till we get it down. So if you guys are game, you got to be game for doing rush. Some people just feel like it's an irrelevant thing to do, which I'm sad about, but I think it's fun. <laughs> oh, no, and what I liked about X23 is they find they they actually built a hero that is very dependent on their signature ally. Yeah. So I I like that. That is interesting. Yeah. So that's going to be a, a, a fun way to explore uh, how to deck build her, keeping in mind you want to keep that ally in yeah. play. It's got a little bit of uh, SPDR vibes, right? A little bit, yeah. How, how do you make it work? I think people will be surprised. I, I think they, they, they see cards and they'll be like, ah, it's going to be easy, but not too sure. It'll be fun. It's two months away, oh. so we're super close. Um, and if go. people didn't see Nelson, Nelson, he had a good over, break. I was just going to mention dropped a video with Tony today, which was really good, kind of going through design process. It didn't have a lot with Next Evolution, but Tony did talk about some of the villain. I'll, I'll save it all for the video so people can see it, and not spoil it here. Um, but yeah, check out that video with Tony, and he talked about like some of his favorites and the things he's excited about. And design philosophy, and I've I've been saying it to people because I've I've had a chance to meet and play with Tony. Like he's a great addition to this game. It's not like we've taken a step back. It's just a step to the side, you know. Boggs and now Tony, like it's great. <laughs> I keep every time you say Tony, I keep thinking Tony Fauci, but it's not it. Tony Fauci, like the COVID yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay. Every time I, say, I hear Tony, like, I don't uh, know why. They're great. Yeah. That Tony, Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Right. What's his last name? Tony. Fanchi. 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 That's why. Fanchi? I, yeah. Yeah. That's why I keep thinking COVID guy. All right. Anything else right. for the good of the order before we uh, get rocked by Magog? That's rock and roll. I think let's let's beat him. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's head down to the tables. Sounds good. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We are going to play the Con of Heroes Magog. I'm sorry, my table's a little bit of a mess. Oh, I'm supposed to do this, right? Hide yeah. Brian. Hide Brian away under StreamYard. Yay. Uh, this oh, is all my right. stuff for Wolverine tomorrow, so it's all up in the corner here for the most part. <laughs> so you'll see a little bit of that there. That's why that's sitting there. Uh, table's not very big. So we've got the Are You Not Entertained? Uh, which is a good callback to the Gladiator movie. Gla Gladiator, right? Yeah, the movie? I think it was a gladi Gladiator. Russell yeah. Crowe. Yeah, it was Russell Crowe, Gladiator. Before right. he was hit by a blowfish. Uh, right. So after players perform their mulligans, search the encounter deck for a show environment card and reveal it. So the only one that's in there is this one because we're playing with Fantasy. I don't think he has any other shows in his deck, right? No. Uh, so this this card will stay out, and we have to win with the excuse me booing crowd side uh, up uh, cool. on the champion. So I think rather than saying I, it's up to you guys, we can say when this flips we restart, or we could just say it's like a penalty we didn't win as well. It, it's yeah. kind of our choice, I guess. So the are you not entertained? Does it say to reveal it from the encounter deck? Um. <laughs> Yep, reveal it. So that means it will surge. Yep. Correct. And we wouldn't get our plus one hand size for our draws. Correct. So, Where does surge... So surge 
mid turn just goes to that player, correct? It goes to that player and just stays there until you reveal encounter cards. Okay. So you're not doing a card right away before you even draw. So it just goes. <laughs> Mark totally has my number here, though. Yeah. It's hate to say it, your table looks the same as always. This is the most annoying part to me now, is this little box connects my camera to my computer, and I used to have it hanging here, and these cables, the new cable is too heavy, and it falls out of this. So this little box has to sit here, and it drives me nuts because it looks so annoying. Like, I wish it wasn't there. I should put a little smiley face sticker or something there. I'm sure you can do something about it. <laughs> All right. Good to go. I did my mulligan. Yep. I'm all set. I'm also all set. Probably I saw your uh, comment there, too. That was smart. He was just talking about how some of the characters that play with allies already, like Star-Lord and uh, Cyclops. Yeah, but he's, he's running... But not signature allies, yeah. Exactly. There's no real gimmick off of signature allies. Oh, I guess we should say, I am running Nebula Leadership, and I am here to, what is it called? Get Not Get Ready? Uh, ready for Action. Ready. ready for Action. Although Steve probably wants to defend for all of us, so. I do. Well, I'm going to be just... defending for a minimum of three players per turn. All right. Okay. And I'll defend right. for a minimum of four. Fine. And I will <laughs> give everyone tough. No, you won't. You'll give one person tough. Oh, no. Strange. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking Muster Courage. No, I would not. I would never play Muster Courage on with Magog. Strange Aggression, Spider-Woman Protection. Oh, gosh, sorry. Ghost Spider Protection, my bad. I just watched that movie because I want to go see the other one, but we had Emma, so we went and watched Little Mermaid, and I don't know if I can afford to go to another movie. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Eric, you are playing Nova Justice? I am playing, yes, uh, Nova Justice. All right, so it's going to go Brian, Steve, Eric, because that goes right down my thing. So, okay. Brian, you are first. All right, I've already done my mulligans. I have pitched my first invocation. Uh, I will flip up right away. Genius for the I. I plus two more for the Quinn. Exhaust myself and Quinn to seven rings of Ragador, three toughs. Myself, uh, everyone else, but other, everyone but Steve. Thank you. I like that. Perfect. Right. My, my turn? Correct. Spend two for Judica skills. Uh, spend one for an armored vest. And I will punch Magog for two. I think it's Judokai. Judica. Judica. Did you say that Irish? I will punch me dog. Hey, I'll like punch me dog. Yeah, you know, we'll keep uh, defensive energy. <laughs> uh, I believe Nova is next. Eric. Hey, awesome. These are All right. Uh, turns, man. I've already done my mulligan. I will pitch this and this. Uh, I'm getting Jesse Alexander out. Turn one, I'm going to exhaust him because I used a connection to the world mine to pay for him. So that's going to go right back into my deck. But fear not, that was not the only wild that I had in my hand. I put in a uh, pair of power in all of us, and I've got one of those uh, also in my opening hand. So using that, finding my helmet... So spending that, getting my helmet, adding it to my hand, and putting it into play. Then let's flip up. So is anybody flipping? Oh, Gamora's flipping. Yeah. No, not Nebulous flips staying down, right? Here, Always um, mistake me for my sister. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, be eyes. yeah. And then uh, let's use that, and I'll pitch this to get out a champion's mobile bunker. Um, oh, we're all champions, right? How can we uh, not be champions in Marvel Champions? This is a game about yeah, Nova. Exactly, and exactly. Uh, all right, and then let's draw two cards. This, this. Uh, ooh, there's a go for champions. 
which it's probably better to hold off on that until later on in the game. So I will discard the Gopher Champions because that, I guess, now we're going to go with the new rules, right? You can only use that once in the game. <laughs> well, I I'm hope I'm calling so. them the rules. <laughs> yeah, it's not right. the new rule. It's just the make sense rule. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. And then that, that, uh, nothing else that I can still play. Um, oh, actually. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So let's just do a basic thwart for one, which will, of course, ready my helmet, but I don't have anything with a one cost that I can spend my helmet on. So I am good to go. All right. I'm going to use Rocket Raccoon to play uh, a Cutthroat Ambition. Draw two. Ooh, there's my Nowhere and there's my team building exercise. I may just get both of those down. Da -dun -da -dun. Uh, you cannot. Ah, fine. Then... I didn't want to flip up, but that's how it goes in this life sometimes. All right, uh, plus one hand size. Everybody. Oh my god, it's, yeah, everyone has plus one hand size. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll take it. You must take it, in fact. <laughs> one, two, three. Of course, five. I have 15 defense events and I don't get one for my defensive energy. <laughs> it's okay, Steve. It'll be fine. All right. Uh, so he just attacks and places counters, right? If he does damage, yep. All right, so he is attacking Doctor Strange, who is tough. Yep. All right, three plus a star. Put this card into play, so it's the fetch quest. Gives the justice guy something to do. Thank you. So what does Are You Not Entertained say? Uh, after players perform their mulligan, search the counter deck for a show environment, reel it. You must win the scenario with the champion environment on the booing crowd side. Play with the fantasy modular. So it doesn't change any of the function of the game. Other than we can't let this flip. Cool. Uh, but this gives an extra boost. So he attacked for technically one. So he's attacking Ghost Spider for three plus a boost of one. So four. I will mm -hmm. Judica skills... And defend. Okay. Uh, it's plus four. So he's hitting for one. Plus four is five. Minus two. So I'm hit, I'm taking zero damage. Sorry, I did the minus. So he's hitting for three. Plus four is seven. Oh, you... Fine! I get hit for two. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I have four, five, six. I hit. I get hit for one. Of course I have to get with the four... The, the one four boost in the deck. Hold on. You're defending for six? I'm defending for six. And you made it minus two? Or are I'm you adding Judica skills into your defense? Yes. I'm, I'm defending for four minus two. Yes. Okay. So he's attacking you for five. You're defending for four, right? Correct. All right. So he gets two counters. Uh, attacking Nova, who's tough. Uh, with a plus one, so your tough is gone, and attacks me with a tough. What do I have? Piercing and overkill. And plus two on me, my tough is gone. Thank you, Mr. Strange. Yep, thank you. All right. I do have a protective ward. Physical toll. No, you don't. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to flip. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's not going to spend four. Yep, I'll remove it. <laughs> well, don't tell him what to do, Steve. He's allowed to make his own mind up. All right. Uh, defend the title. When revealed, place two rating counters. That's not going well. <laughs> Under fire. Cause wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. When a card is revealed from the encounter deck, I could uh, I can cancel that, right? Do you oh, cancel just... it or it's when revealed? I canceled the one revealed, so never mind. Just yeah, he doesn't more. cancel the surge. Give I mean, me you can take one three. card instead of two. Nah, it's fine. Advance. He's going to scheme for one plus three is four. This goes to 11. It's a good thing they have a justice guy. 
And your second card is a troll that comes in with toughness. Uh, and it takes damage from mental. It takes double da one additional damage from mental. Assault on Nova. All right. I have got... Oh, it's just a zero, right? I, I can also... I have a force field per projection that I could use if we want. Um, wait, wait. I'm just... There's, that's the yeah. last card or is there one more card? I have a card. Because <laughs> uh, I have a pirouette. Okay, never mind. Go. Did, did you want to use your pirouette no. or... No. So. Okay, force field projection then. Um, sure. We'll use force field projection. Is it after? Is it when you take damage, or is it when before? a friendly character would take any uh, amount of damage from an attack? Prevent three, and if you paid for this with a wild resource, deal three damage to an enemy. Uh, so you can't necessarily play it first. The boost is discard a card from your hand. Oh, that's <laughs> not at random. So you can pick what you discard. Okay, fair enough. Uh, then he's right. hitting you for four total. Okay, so uh, I prevent three of it, so I will yep. take one damage. And he gets two ratings counters. And then I deal three damage back. <clears throat> you want to deal it to the to get rid of the top of that goblin? Oh no, you no Gamora's got it. Uh, Nebula's got it. Never mind. Doesn't it have to go back? Um, to an enemy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where do I have the damage? Uh, you have it with your uh, your cutthroat uh, ambition. Yeah, it's got piercing and overkill. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and my final card is a goblin, which will surge into worried father. Yes, perfect. <laughs> that is the best. That's. that's Are you what... ready, Steve? No. Or are you exhausted? I'm exhausted, but don't matter. It's all you. Sweet Christmas. I'm not going to even use George Stacy, so I'm not worried about it. All right. One, two for a web bracelet. Oh, I don't have an attack, so this is going to go away. No, you do. What do I have it, for an attack? It's going to trigger at the beginning of the turn. Right, and this doesn't attack. This deals removes three threat. Oh, that's the three threat one. Oh, sh Nikes. Never mind. Okay, sorry. I thought it was the the other one. All right, I'm done. Okay. Nova. What? Okay. What's... All right, we're all good. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I will. Let me think, because I did that and I did that. So, let me clear my throat. Let's see how I want to do all of this. Okay, uh, I will do a basic thwart for one, which readies my helmet. Then I'm going to use my helmet and these two cards to get out Moon Girl. That will then let me draw actually three cards back. One, two, and three. Uh, sorry, okay. Nolan. I probably read it to them earlier and didn't read it to you. Okay. Yeah. Then, unfortunately, I don't have anything else that I can use to ready myself. Um, okay. I don't think that's true. All right. So we've oh, got more thwarting that we need to do. Um, okay. I can't use yaw and roll because I guess the timing on that obviously has elapsed. Um so it's let's do you, it's after you thwart, not after you basic thwart. After your hero thwarts, right. But I don't have another card that will let me oh wait. You uh can. would if I thwart with Moon Girl, would that count? No, but you have nope, your bunker to your... in perch, right? I'm sorry, what you're saying? You have your bunker to to dig through. True. I do have my bunker. So let's use that. So one, two. We'll oh, there's the a connection to World Mine that can definitely help. Um, so I use that and then discard, I guess, these two. Okay. Nothing that I can thwart with, but I can use connection to the World Mine to play Pot Shop. So deal four damage to an enemy. Do you want me to? 
I can use Moon Girl to knock off the tough on the troll and then deal four damage to it. Is that how we want to go? How much how much is on the troll? The seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that doesn't he remove threat or get an ally for someone? Uh player defeats this minion can put an ally from their discard pile into play. I have no allies in my deck, so there's no point in me defeating him. I imagine okay. it'd be somebody else this turn. I only I well I could deal four damage. I, I could kill him. You can deal four damage? Yep. I'd put Cosmo or Rocket into play. Okay. Because, yeah, if, either if you kill him or if you deal da- – I'll knock off the tough, deal damage, and then I can call for an action with pot shot uh, and then kill him. It's, it's six or half a dozen. It's either either you or me. And that way we can pull back one of our uh, – Yeah, I don't, I don't have any single damage, so it won't matter for me. Okay. Well, again, you so – the biggest yeah. thing would be if anybody has a punch, they could get rid of the goblin. But I can also put Groot out and just tank this thing infinitely. So, right, sure, okay. Well, let me use Moon Girl to knock off the tough. Okay. Okay. Then I can use the pot shot uh, with connection to World Mind to uh, deal four damage to that troll. There you go. Okay. Uh, and then I think that completes my turn. Uh, what did you say about the goblin? If anyone has a punch, you need a. a he can a dis- only take damage from cards with a punch resource on them. So, like, okay. your hero can't attack him. Okay. Got All right. It. My cutthroat ambition pops and removes three threat. Uh, then I will use my double to play my ship. The ship is so cool, it generates a resource. Oh, wow. Team building and nebula ship and a command team. I will play Groot. I will trigger drawing a card. I will play my honorary guardian on myself. Uh, And then myself and Groot can pop this troll. And that puts Rocket into play. He's wild. Rocket will thwart for two. Yeah, I can't hit the goblin. Yeah. Uh, what else can these cutthroat ambition, these lethal intents do? Nothing. Oh, you should. Oh, because if you, if if you would have played your lethal intent first, I couldn't. I didn't have enough resources. Oh, you didn't. So they're yeah. they're useless now. Yeah. So I'll just pitch them. I'm done. Uh, all right. Strange is going to flip up. I'll play my cloak of levitation. I'll exhaust it. Ready myself. Uh, I don't know if I even bother doing wins this turn. Maybe I just put out Hulk and then hold the, uh, you know what? I have extra resources, so I am going to do wins. We got some friggin' lame turns. <laughs> One. Hulk can punch the goblin. Three. Oh, no, he's a lightning, um, isn't he? Yeah. He's a lightning. Uh, okay, Hulk. I'll play Hulk with the power of, and I'll put, use the two of you to play my, oh, I don't even need to do that. Use the two of you to play Sorcerer Supreme. And then, I mean, I just hold all this stuff. I don't what? think I need to. Uh, yeah, I could have, if instead of, um, uh, rocket thwarting for two, you said? Mm-hmm. I have an as one, and I can exhaust Hulk and Rocket and go through that goblin into my goblin. Does as one have the punch icon? Yeah, absolutely it does. Yeah. Sure, that's fine. So exhausting Hulk and uh, which yeah, I... Right, so they hit for four, right? Overkill. Uh, one... I... Plus three. He's, yeah, four overkill, yeah. Because he doesn't get his plus for a minute, and then it removes two threat. So it came to the same, and no consequence damage. Money. Yeah. yeah. Three bees. We're good? Yep. All right, get your builds in place, people. He's almost at 20 counters. Uh, do All we right. still have an extra plus one hand size? The whole game. Okay. Okay. Two, four, five, and what is it with this? I have no defense events. 
I'm like, my deck is chock full of defense stuff and not one. <laughs> I, I'm actually super intrigued by Expert Magog because he seems tough to not get those counters. And then to play this that says he can't flip the card feels brutal. <laughs> you have to have perfect defenses, you know? How much, yeah, so how much? How many counters are there? There's six out of 20. All right. Okay. All right, we're adding four. That's why I figure we shouldn't reset. We should just say, oh, we didn't achieve this goal. All right. Okay. All right, he's attacking Ghost Spider for three, and there will be a boost from this, so at least one, so at least four. All right, so I am going to defend with the uh, Judoka skills. Yep. So I have, again, I can go up to six. You're really bringing him down, right? Yeah. Am I flipping? Yep. Okay. Uh, so he is plus three. He's a total of six. You made him minus two, so he's four. Perfect. Since I defended, I'll use Ticket to the Multiverse, and I'll do a Phantom Flip, which will ready me. Is that my... five threat? I forget which one's on its one's ghost kick and one's phantom flip. Phantom, phantom flip, flip is threat. Is the threat. <laughs> yep. Sorry, it's just hard to remember. Yeah. There's too many cards now. <laughs> I still anyway. have not drawn a defense event so far. Nova is getting attacked for uh essentially four. For this, I'm gonna have Moon Girl block. Oh no, no, no. If you no? use your allies. Uh, what happens is they still put counters on. Correct. Your allies... But we don't have not... options, do we? Are yeah, you yeah, I don't think we do. Okay. <laughs> I have a subdue, which I will minus three his attack. Okay. Okay. And then is Nova defending? Uh, I wasn't planning on defending, no. Um, because He's going to hit that's... you for at least one. Right. Uh, but other, I guess if I defend, then I um, I don't take damage, right? Well, or we don't add a counter, it, I mean. So group could defend for him, right? Yeah. Well, I guess if the question is if we're worried about the counters, if I do defend and don't take damage, then he doesn't get a counter. Is that, that is the question. Are we trying to avoid damage or counters or both? Because if damage, group defends, we're going to get about. counters. Right. All right. Well, if we don't want the counter, then I will defend with the subdue. All right. So I will do the subdue for you. Okay. Okay. So he's tagging for zero with a boost of one. Plus reveal this card. He's plus one. So he hits for two. You take no damage. No damage. Okay. No damage. No counter. Thank you, Steve. And this will give us more counters. He schemes against me for one plus three is four. So this goes to eight. And then he attacks Doctor Strange for minimum five. And Doctor Strange is, I mean, he could defend for two, but I don't think there's really a point for me. So he's Wait. attacking for a minimum of five. When you defend against an enemy attack. All right, so I will defend for Doctor Strange and use my last Judokai skill. Okay, reveal this card. He has Stalwart and Retaliate one. All right. Okay. So he attacks you. You use Judica. So he attacks for one, two, three. All right. Done. All right. Uh, no, I, sorry. We get cards. <laughs> yeah. I do have a protective ward. Just FYI. Okay. Well, there's a defend the title. He's going to attack again. Okay. I if have you take a... no. If you take no damage, we get two ratings counters. Well, it's too late. So I defended for. Uh... So I can I can get rid of it then. Okay. And I have a pure red and punch if we have another one, so that's good. Uh, stage fright. Nova is confused, and we put two threat on the main scheme. Two threat on the main scheme. All right. Nebula gets Shadow of the Past. Uh, do we care? I mean, I care, right? Specifically because right. I can't put Gamora out. And that's part of your plan? Yeah. Well, I'll find. I'll pirouette and punch. I mean, it's as good a card as any to pirouette. It has two boost icons. I know, but then, I, then I'm losing either my Nerves of Steel or my Web Bracelet, but I'll take one for the team. I'll Perfect. pirouette and punch it for three. 
and it yeah. deals three damage. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an attack. It's not an attack. You don't take retaliate. I do not take retaliate. Uh, and pump up the crowd comes in with sixteen on it. And double acceleration. Yeah. I thought we had a justice player. Uh, he's waiting for his turn, and then I'll go to work. Okay. Uh, it's your turn. Okay, excellent. All right, let me use my mobile bunker. Draw two. And... So well, right now we have to take out Magog, right, as soon as possible so we can get rid of his stuff. Discard two, okay. Probably, uh, yeah. Well, you can start with, uh, if you don't mind me taking an action, you can start with seven damage and stun. He's stalwart. Okay. What does but it take to get rid of seven that? damage. What? What does it take to get rid of the stalwart? Uh, 29 damage. It oh. goes away when he dies. All right. When Still he... do the seven. Okay. Sorry, Eric. That's and okay. there is retaliate, but it's not an attack. So you're That's good. right. Okay. All right. I'm going to use my helmet uh, to play for light speed flight, removing three threat from that side scheme. You're confused, by the way. I am? Yes. Yep, you got confused. Oh. Well, uh, that... Your card here. Stage fright confused you. Oh, well, that nerfs everything, because I'm already exhausted about from that. defending, because I didn't use Moon Girl, so I can't undo that. Uh, I can... Well, then I won't be able to thwart anything. Uh, I can use light speed flight to get rid of the confused. Um, yeah, okay. Almost seems like a waste. Okay, we'll do that. Um, all right, well, then I won't be able to use. I have another yawn roll in my hand. Can't so use that. You can use the, the yawn roll to remove your confusion, I believe. Because with the new rulings, yeah. it says you can use a thwart event to get rid of your confusion, bypassing all the. Oh, you think it by. It just says it doesn't need a target. Oh, that's a tough question, Steve. There you go. And that, you use it when it couldn't normally, like it does say when it can't normally be used, but it's interesting yeah. when it comes to timing versus there's no target, right? Yeah. So this is why I'm, I, I'm, the, I'm thinking and we can, the chat, there's like what, five, 10 people in the chat right now. Something like that. Yeah. Well, what uh, would the general consensus be? I guess. Yeah. I, so, I would be based on Steve's, huh theory or logic i would say yes you could use it because yeah, it is a thwart question. event but technically it doesn't have a valid target right it doesn't have a which valid is really target. what that bypasses this right. one still has yeah, a timing based... window to play it right based on the play it... yeah the way it's worded i yeah. i would say no but i understand it could be a yes. I could see how it's a yes if they're just saying it doesn't matter. Don't read the card. No text. Like, sure. Go ahead and go. He's like, do it. So the question is if you can play yawn roll to remove a confused status, even though yawn roll has to be played after you thwart, does it fall into the hole you can play get over here when there's no minion on the table? Is it just because it's a thwart event it can remove confused? Or does it still need to fall in its timing window? And get over here is different because it's just looking for a valid target, Brombe. Yeah. So this is this is from what I've heard. It should technically work because you're basically just playing. Even if there's no, let's say there would be no threat to remove, you should still be able to play this to do your thing. So. All right. Go ahead and do it, Eric, so we don't slow down the game. Fine. Okay. Anyway, so. Um... Then, yeah, I'll, I'll spend this to do yawn roll to get rid of my confused. Then I'm using the helmet to play light speed flight to remove three threat from the scheme. Yeah. Okay. Then and we're removing it from this side scheme or we're removing it from the main? I think we want to get rid You think you're flying. No, oh, Brown yeah. says it's a go. I, that, that's what I figured. I'm like. All right. So which one are you removing it from, Eric? I missed what you said. Uh, the side scheme. You got it. Yeah. Well, technically, no, Brombe. It's not an action. It's a hero response. Oh. See, that might be the issue. Because it's not an action. So since they put it as response, it has nothing to respond to. Right. 
Maybe. Got it. So anything that's an action can be played, but not something that's a response or an interrupt. Did you it's do your bunker? That. Did you do your bunker? Uh, I did. Yes, yeah. I did. Yep. How much threat is on the main right now? What? How much threat is on the main? Uh, 10. 10. 10 out of 24? Oh, okay, yeah. So he's saying it doesn't work because it's uh, it's a response. All right, okay. so you're back to confused. 10 out of 24 is correct. Right. Sorry, Steve. I'm okay. in a lot of places. Back to confused. Sorry, okay. Eric. Nope, nope. I We're get it. We're messing up your turn or, or at least your flow. Right. I'm taking nope. my that's, actions. That's fine. Yes, all right. So then I'm, I'm still that. using the helmet. I'll <laughs> use light speed flight to at least get rid of my confused. Okay. Then instead, I'll pitch Power of Justice to at least put a heroic intuition out on myself that if I can ever eventually thwart, <laughs> do a basic, uh, I can double that up. Uh, additionally, I'm going to pitch a genius to bring, as Steve would say, Vivian uh, into play. And here we can, um, I don't know if we want to, Keep her in play to nullify any bad uh, minions or. As soon as she comes into play, so you we can blank out the double accelerate, or we can blank out the 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 stalwart, and then we can. I do have a stun and confuse. So I think okay. blanking out that attachment is the the key one, right? All right. Sounds good. Yeah. And there's right. no retaliate either. Yep. Okay. Now, does she still need to be in play no. for, okay. So I can like have her thwart for two on the side scheme. She'll go away, but then that attachment is still blanked. Correct. Yeah. I was, I was going to say, uh, do you think it's better maybe to put the plus one on Nebula who can thwart for three? Oh uh, yeah, I could do that too. That's fine. I don't know what the brand plan is, but yeah. if we have, a non-justice player that can remove three threat. That's yeah, like Brent. If you fun. see yourself doing a lot of basic uh, thwarting, yeah, that's fine. I can. Yep. Okay. Then um, um, again, so still played it, but I'll toss it. You up don't up here. Nova only readies his helmet. He doesn't ready himself, right? Only unless he's doing a Nova force. Right. Correct. Right. Uh, yep. Do you want me to astral projection? Yeah, I think we need to control threat right now because. That's what makes us lose, right? Because when he gets to mm -hmm. 20, all right. we, uh, uh, we put four count. All right, I'll do an astral projection. Choose okay. three threat uh, and look at the top card of the encounter deck. Okay. For each icon. And, and Brent, I'm still deck. having Vivian so. thwart for two off that side scheme. I did the Vivian thwart for two. I'm trying okay. to find a heroic intervention. Intuition. <laughs> I'm in... Well, Three places, but I think I'm good. Brian, there's a one on there, so you remove five threat. Uh, it's uh, three plus one, so four. Four threat. Okay. And we're so taking I off the that, crowd. I think the boosts, the boost icon is only when on cards are. Turn. Yeah, I think they're only for the villain. I think the only thing that bypasses that is Wanda. Got it. Wanda's okay. Wanda's nemesis is the only one that changes that. Mm. And then, Brent, finally, I'll have Moon Girl uh, thwart for two on the side skin. All right. Yeah, because we don't want to keep eight. Yeah, we don't want to keep allies, right? We're okay. Yeah. Why don't we want right. to keep allies? Does how he much, punish allies? Sorry. How much health does this guy still have? Uh, 22. 22. Can you keep me Groot? Keep you Groot? Groot? Attacks, yeah, Groot attacks for two, right? Yeah. Okay, don't exhaust him. Okay. All right. Uh, I will use my ship to play evasive maneuvering. I will draw two cards. Uh, I will flip up. I don't think I have anything to do here. I'll play Welcome Aboard with Gamora uh, and a team building exercise. I will trigger Nowhere to draw a card. Oh, that's the deck you're running. Oh, okay, I get you. Um, then when she comes into play, I will stun, I think is the better plan for now. Yeah. Uh, Actually, then, is not bad if one of us wants to go down. Right. Uh, do you want, I guess if I blaze a glory, I lose a lot of people, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind going down. 
if uh, if there's a confuse. Yeah, I can do lethal intent. I also have these um, ready for actions. I think those so, ready for actions are great. Um, yeah, do I, I can't do all of them. I'm one resource short unless I don't. Oh, I have clarity of purpose. Never mind. I will take a damage and I will do um, ready for action on Groot because that thing won't matter, right? Yeah. Uh, Rocket will remove two threat. Gamora will remove two threat. I can remove three threat and get this thing down to one. Yeah. Uh, or I could have Groot use it before I tough him. No, but I didn't save him for Brian. No, you need to save him, Brian. Uh, and then I can do another ready for action. Uh, I guess on Rocket. And then I'll do a lethal intent, and I can confuse the villain. Sweet. That's a sweet turn. That's awesome. <laughs> I just have to take my one damage. I'm good. Uh, all right. I will put an enrage on Hulk, who is now a five. I will exhaust Groot and Hulk for five, six, seven damage. Nice. 15. Uh, I, I love that Brian's running Alliance by himself. I'm my own Alliance. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll flip down. He's using I'll, my characters. That's yeah. right. I haven't gotten my Guardian out yet. I forgot that you were probably going to have a bunch of Guardians, so I put some in myself as well. Um, I'll flip down. I'll pitch the Vapors and flip my next card. And that's it for me. Cool. Does anybody have one threat removal? Unfortunately, uh, no. Next I've... turn, definitely, but not right now. Hey, defense events. Oh, my gosh. There's Did you many... take your turn already, Steve? You had nothing to do? I already, yeah, my turn was all done on the other, on the villain's turn, remember? All right. So we're leaving this with one threat, huh? <laughs> I guess so. All right. I got two blockers. He's stunned and confused. So if Steve is useless to all of us, I can take over. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Always with, with love intended, Steve. I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, so we are adding... What does this do? This does nothing. We are adding four plus two is six to the main. It goes to 16 out of 24. He is stunned against Nova. He is attacking me. I'll block with Groot. Makes sense. Uh, so he's going to attack, and Groot will take that. Tough. And heal. And heal, too. And then he is scheming, but confused. And then he's attacking Ghost Spider. Yeah. I am going to Ghost Spider, and I'm going to use uh, a Defiance. Okay. Ooh, you... you canceled a five boost. Nice. Nice. And flow like water will trigger. I will ready Ghost Spider. And Bracelet will ready me again. Okay. And draw me a guard. All right. And he goes through his deck. Got to keep accelerating. -da -da. This deck is so tiny. I know. <laughs> he was in the pool. Ha ha ha. Shrinkage. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, I did not give Ghost Spider a card. Nova gets Master Plan. Uh, well, five and then the other one we don't care. Right. This one goes to leave. five and this one goes to a lot more than five. Right. All right. Nebula gets an Assault. I can block with Rocket. Nope. I'll take care of it. Okay. He's attacking you for three, four, and a one boost at least. All right. So I'm going to use uh, warning to do a desperate defense and a never back down. So, so I'm going to get four. I have an eight defense. Flow like water is going to trigger twice and deal him two damage. He's at 13. And He's I attacking to... with a zero boost, or a one, technically. All right, so he will get stunned, which is not going to last very long. But unless 
Uh, I hopefully he attacks somebody else and then that happens. Okay. Uh, weight of the world for Doctor Strange. So that is no, that's no, that's yeah. He he. It was my card. It's going. It was oh, Doctor oh, Strange's right, right, card. Right, right. Sorry. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so you can't ready your helmet. Okay. And break a leg. Ghost Spider is stunned. Don't uh, care. You I never attack. Take two damage. I. Oh wait. Ah, uh, that I care. Oh, <laughs> uh, I have a warning. Fine, I'll take two. I'll go seven. All right. Uh, this passes to me. Over to us. Before yep. we jump into things, I have a question for the group. I have a one way or another uh, in my hand. Do we want to call for an action? No. And bring out another side scheme. I don't. Is there another side scheme? There's not a lot of good ones. Yeah. I think okay. there's only two in the deck. Is there? A, yeah. is, does he have more than one in his kit? I can't imagine with like eight cards. No. And then there's yeah. fantasy. So I don't think there are any others. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, carry on. He flipped, so he's got stalwart again. Yeah. Right. Uh, hand me a um, encounter card, Brent. Got it. All right. Um, so I think I can play Martinex. Uh, just with my double. Unfortunately, I can't use my team building. Yeah, I will. Trigger... Oh, actually, I can play Martinex with these two. Hold my double. Uh, trigger nowhere. Draw a card. Oh, I have to lose somebody if I do that. No, because I have nowhere. Yep. It's a welcome aboard. Um, Are we able I... to get rid of that stalwart? Uh, if we can deal 12 damage. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This should trigger first. Uh, stun or confuse him. Doesn't matter. I'll choose stun. Uh, all right. I will play my team training. I have a strength in numbers. But I guess we need the threat removal from these. Yeah. I'll just clear pump up the crowd, or do you need me to deal damage? I can't really deal a lot of damage, so. Uh, yeah, let's clear some side schemes, because. Uh, actually, if I use just Gamora and Nebula, I clear this. So pump up the gra crowd is gone, and we get four counters. We're on the board, everybody. The crowd is unpumped. Woohoo! Uh, we only have will four you to go, right? Flip down. I'll use a welcome aboard to play an unwielding presence, persistence, excuse me, draw two. I will use a wel uh, I'll use a welcome aboard to play a weapons master. And then somebody can go. I'm going to combat ready, but I just don't know whether I want to shuffle back in or get them. I have eight. Is that correct? You have eight. Okay. Go ahead, Brian. You, oh, sorry. I have these guys. You just need threat. Removal? How much damage? How much damage do I have? To, to, no, no. How much I damage? Have two. He has to, thirteen. To, he has thirteen life left. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you get to keep that one, Brian, because it can't resolve. Oh, is that the new rule? Well, that's the new thing, right? If you don't have a trigger for it, All right? Right. It's. I'll start. There. By flipping up, I will do this Images of Icon for four threats, and uh, I guess a Confuse that goes nowhere. Yep. Uh, I'll ready myself, Eye of Agamotto, and then uh, with the Eye of Agamotto is going to exhaust myself and do seven rings, tough, uh, the three of us other than Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, okay, pitch. You need more threat, you were saying? I have at least um, six, seven that I could do. I mean, I potentially have an astral projection, but I also have a setup. So I can go the three of you to get down Helicarrier, and then 
Helicarrier, Throg, and Astral to get down Wong, and then that Helicarrier could always be for you guys on the next turn. Do it. Okay. Thanks, so, Brombe. Three for Helicarrier, and I'm using the Helicarrier this round to get down Wong. And uh, get down, get down. Should I, can I keep the images for the next round? Yeah. Okay. Then uh, Wong is just going to hold tight. Oh, he can remove a threat, right? Sure, why not? He can remove one. All right, my turn. Unflappable. Ready, go. Sorry, Brian, I missed... Okay. Brian, I missed what you might have done. I got the one threat at the end. What did you do besides that? I did uh, images of Icon. I think I just missed it. In that's between. it. That's okay, it. Great. Yeah. My, my I turn's was reading Brombe's comments here, which are good. My turn's done. Brombe, I think the difference is Fetch Quest is a lot. Like, it's 24, and then we added 4 to it. It is really good, but it's very high for something that's accelerating this fast. So I do agree with you. But there are definitely some of the player side schemes that come in a lot lower. And those ones are going to be like everybody can go all in and then everybody gains a bonus. But I hear what you're saying. It might be the kind of thing where whoever plays it clears a little and then the next turn everybody goes after it to gain the bonus, you know? Like a Maria Hill thing. You want the first player to be You're up, Nova, by the way. Yeah. I was just waiting for him to finish. He's letting me talk. Yep, it's all good. <laughs> was I confused, Brant, or stunned? Confused. Oh, well, I got rid of my confusion. I thought you said mine was break a leg, and break a leg normally is the... Yeah, he the said stunned. stunned and added confuse. Okay. Right. You were stunned. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, Brian, was your helicarrier available, or no. did you... Uh, no, I, I used everything. I cool. said... fair enough. Okay, all right. All I rounds. will... Good. All right. I'm going to pitch these three to bring out Steve's girlfriend. And then I will use my helmet um, to play a light speed flight to remove three threat from the main scheme. Ms. Marvel will then take one damage uh, and exhaust to let me bring back light speed flight. Awesome. Uh, and then with a power in all of us, I will play light speed flight again, removing three more from the main scheme. There's just this guy. Yep. Uh, and then I would like to flip down so I can exhaust and get rid of weight of the world. Yeah. Yep. We all good? Okay. Does weight feel Flipping down? Good and exhausting. Weight is lifted. Uh, much better. <laughs> wait, wait, don't tell me. Oh, and then I will uh, use Jesse Alexander to bring back a copy of World Mind into the deck. Uh, okay. I do have a protective ward for the next round, so just FYI. Nice. All right, I got some subdues, some never back down, the some desperate Ds. Sounds yeah. good. So, Brent, the plus one hand size, does that apply when we're in alter ego as well? Oh, yep. yeah. Always. Yep, the whole game. Okay, I'm. Uh, it's also right, giving us a I boost. I am out. Okay. No, fine. Right. All right. I'm decking out. <laughs> I'm two cards away. All right. Uh, so we are adding five threat to the main scheme. It goes to nine. He is scheming against me for one, two, plus five is seven. Ouch. Oh, there's and two of you in Alter Ego? Oh. Goes to 16. Uh, then Doctor Strange is getting attacked with a tough. He's fine. And then Ghost Spider's getting attacked for minimum five. I All have right. a rocket if you can't defend for yourself. I am going to defend my friends. I'm defending for four. And what do I want to do? You know what? I will use Never Back Down to do a Desperate Defense, which will trigger Flow Like Water, trigger my bracelet. So there you go. So I have a defense of uh, six. Discard a card from your hand of it your will... choice. Okay. It will be an Expert Defense. 
He hits you for five. I took no damage. I trigger uh, unflappable to ready draw another card. And then I will use two. I will use ghost kick and a subdue to do a phantom flip for removal of five threatsies. Okay. Down to 11. And then he schemes again for one, two, three, four, five. Hey. That's a good thing I removed that five. Yeah, thank you, Steve. You know, still would have been at 16. All right. And did you say you have a protective ward? I do. Okay. It's an advance. He can probably scheme and we'll be okay. If he adds seven, we still go to 23. All right. Let's so let it I'll go. keep it for, uh, I'll keep it then. Maybe we'll see another advance. So two plus four is six. Man, he's scheming big. So that goes to 22. All right. Then Shadow of the Past on Doctor Strange. Uh, yeah, I'd probably protect him for that one. Okay. Then Gang Up. He's attacking you. I have a rocket raccoon. That would be much appreciated. Steve? Yep, yeah, I'll let it happen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rocket loses his stuff. Uh, Ghost Spider gets defend the title. I will defend. Okay. For four. Okay, nothing else? I'm good? You're good. All right, he's going to hit you for a total of seven. Seriously? Son of a bitch. Ah, fine. Uh, I'm going to do a warning. So I'm just going to take two. And he adds two counters and goes to eight. All right. Sam Alexander gets caught off guard. Ugh. Uh, the bunker. No, just lose the helmet. You can helmet. Still go, you get you helmet can... right oh, back. that's right. That's right. I can bring the helmet right back. Good point. Good call. Thank you. A goblin and a defend the title. He gets two ratings counters and goes to 10. So we're halfway there. Oh, Doctor Strange. He's at 12 health. Okay. If I could keep that uh, that helicarrier, I could put in electrostatic armor. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's exhausted. It shouldn't be. Uh, okay, exhaust myself. Carrier, uh, not car uh, Quinn, specifically. Images of Icon, fourth threat. Yep. Uh, I will ready up. I will use Wong to get rid of Vapors. Okay. I will uh, Eye of Agamotto, exhaust myself, seven rings, uh, tough myself, tough, uh, let's say, Gamora and Groot. Uh then let's go with this to do the as one. And then I can also get Marvel Boy down. Uh, unless anyone can help. If I want to keep Helicarrier for Steve, then I could potentially get my boot camp down and then use... Uh, Groot, if, if I have the um, someone to pitch a card for an alliance. Here, you know what? Use it. It's fine. I'm going to go down this turn, and I'm going to get my George Stacy. So he's going to come into my hand. I'm going to pitch my extra dynamic to get George Stacy out. Okay. Not yet, right? It's not your turn? No, not my turn. I'm, I'm, I'm up, by the way. All right, fine. Uh, I'll pay the three to get the boot camp in. And I'll exhaust Helicarrier, uh, Hulk, and Groot to do an as one, which is five from Hulk, so seven. He's down to five. Uh, do I take Retaliate? Yes. I do. Yeah, we oh. blanked the card prior. Okay, so let me just retcon a couple things there and say I did the as one before I did the rings. Yeah, you want to take the tough off of group. No, 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 no. 
No. Would would it's, it be it's, helpful? It would be it would be my tough. Right. Would, would it be, be helpful lost. if I could temporarily remove um, Magog's stalwart and retaliate before Brian does his action? Yeah, you could do that okay, instead. Because because I one once I um I'm going to be able to play Vivian again. Uh, uh, it's not a good idea. Because then it won't be able to be removed when we take him out. It's better oh, to deal with five yeah. damage. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're so, good, yeah, good call, have, Steve. I have one damage. Not a big deal. So are you losing? You have a tough status card. No, no. I retconned that I did Rings of Ragdor after. So oh, you're taking took, one damage and then putting the tough back on I took one damage from doing the as one, then that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, that makes sense. I was thinking about that. I just okay. did it wrong in my head. Yeah. Uh, so I have nine health. Uh, that's my turn. Go spider. My turn is flipping down, exhausting, and playing George and shuffling the ticket back to my deck. Go. Okay. Uh, that should I'm be the last time I flip down. <laughs> right. All right. I'm going to pitch a say. connection to the world <laughs> mind to get my helmet back into play. Then I'll use Jesse. I'll take that world mind and shuffle it back into my deck. Oh, and I get to draw a card. I always forget that last part. Okay, and I draw a card, and it's a yaw and roll. So here's a question. Speaking of yaw and roll, if I do a, a basic thwart, can yeah. I play a yaw and roll, use Ms. Marvel's ability, bring back yaw and roll, and can yeah. I then play it again, or will the window nope, um, nope. you have an have infinite elapsed? response window. So you Perfect. can do as many responses as you want until you do your next action. It doesn't nice. matter the order of the responses. That's like the whole Miss Marvel hero kit thing. Awesome. All right. Well, then watch this go. I will do a basic thwart of one. Okay. Then... Uh, Good yeah. so far. Just finished losing to Ultra. Oh, how goes Magog? Okay. Sorry, sorry, Eric. I was going to let you finish. No, no, no. You're, you're totally good. You're totally good. Okay. So I do a basic thwart of one. I will, for right now, I will use my... No. Before I did that, let me... Okay. Before I do my basic thwart of one, let me use the helmet. Because it's once I thwart already the helmet. So let me use my helmet... And this and this to bring out Moon Girl. Then I can draw three back. Okay. Oh, nice. There's my go for champions. Okay. All right. Now I will do my basic thwart of one, which readies the helmet. Okay. Then let's use the helmet to play yaw and roll, removing now an additional three. Nice. Then we will uh, exhaust Ms. Marvel, bring back Yaw and Roll uh, while giving her one damage, uh, and then I'll pitch this to remove three more threat. Okay, down okay. to 11. Okay, then I have another Yaw and Roll in my hand. So since this is a separate hero response, to, is I guess now the window has elapsed, correct? Nope. Because you're still playing responses, you're not playing an action. Even better. Love it. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, pitch this. I'll do another yawn roll for three more threat. Okay. That, I think, will finally uh, eclipse that. Um, then I will do one two and let's say three to play go for champions <laughs> it's not too i mean if you that. want to keep it in there we've got toughs galore well that is true i'm just saying well okay. i mean i guess you'll keep Fine. your tough yeah no like, i can you totally can okay. play it and then block for us but i've yeah. got almost an issue of too many True. Yeah, there are. There are. Look at all the toughs on the table. <laughs> Let me use my mobile bunker first. So it sounds funny, but you can just that. save it for when we're in a tight spot. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, One of the uh, things to consider is if we're doing five damage, we're flipping him, and then we're each getting an extra card. So think about that. Maybe that go for champions is not too shabby right now. If somebody no. has five damage. Uh, I, mean, I have five if I take a trillion retaliate. But I, I, I definitely have – well, I've got a pot shot. Uh, which would deal four damage. It is an attack. I don't mind taking the... Well, and if I play the Gopher Champions first, oh, yeah. then uh, I can totally... Um, yeah, that works. Do that. Okay, so let's see if I... Hold on. So, so Luther, have... we're slowly losing, but we're doing good. Right, okay. All right, one, two, three. I'm slowly winning. Steve is Go for Champions. Slowly. All right, then here we go. I will use a connection to the rolled mind to pot shot for four. Nice. You take one retaliate. No, I don't. Oh, you take I, zero retaliate. I right. played go for champions. We went through this. <laughs> yep. Then I will have Moon Girl attack for two. Hey! And she, and she doesn't take any damage either. All right, so we get uh, eight. And then do we all get a face down encounter card? Yep. Okay. Uh, and I have three champion four players plus in play. Four, which is six. Did I do that right? 16. 16. So this goes to 20. So it flips the challengers. Uh, when this flips, uh, we put surprise contender out and give him a tough status card. Where does is he it go? With the first, first player? First player. No, no. I'm pretty sure that's what it would be, yeah. Probably. Engage with the first player, yeah. All right. And he gets a tough status card. Does that guy have, what, five per player? Seven. Seven, Seven per player? 28 health. Okay. But he yeah, we all get an encounter retaliate. card. He's going to accelerate. You missed, you missed Ghost Spider. Okay. Is it me? Yeah. All right. What do I need to do? Everything. Hmm. Okay. I will play a cutthroat ambition with my ship to draw my last two cards. Because who doesn't want another encounter card? Sure. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> I got no options. All right, then I will flip up um, and holy cow. Uh, I don't need Yondu. I'll use Yondu to play a Weapon Master. I'll use Strength in Numbers to play Cutthroat Ambition. I will use a Wide Stance to play a Triskelion. Oh, then I could have played Yondu, actually. No, I couldn't. I'm still one short. Uh, and then I'll use my double to play a ready for action. Who wants a tough? <laughs> Who doesn't have a tough? Only allies, eh? Only allies. Only allies. So what ally wants a tough? Nobody? Give it, just give well, it to Martin X or Rocket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. give it to one of his... Uh, I, yep. I mean, I have Hulk and I have Wong. But... Martin X will pop this tough, assuming we're going to kill him eventually. Well, Rocket can do four before you do that, right? No, he's exhausted. Oh. So maybe I actually shouldn't give him the tough. I'll give it to Martin X. Uh, and then Gamora can remove two threat, and I remove three threat, and we just keep that under control again? That sounds like a plan. All right. Cool. I decided to nerf one of my actions that go for champions. I brought out earlier than I really did. And I brought it up before I started doing all those yaw and rolls. That way, Ms. Marvel didn't take any damage. Make sense? Yep. Cool. All right. Rock and roll. We got a lot of cards to contend roll. with. Remember, plus one hand size. I got more ready for actions. <laughs> hmm. I, I do have a lethal intent, asked, though, which is going to be nasty. One. 
So are, you're not even going to be the first player, right? Right. So you yeah. can get double activations off of all of those, which is crazy. Correct. Good. Yeah, it's going to be real good. So, all right. Uh, he is adding six threat to the main, which will now go to nine. So it is interesting. Brombe was saying like, oh, this won't get dealt with. And I was like, well, eventually that'll be under control and we'll deal with this. But then you're kind of in the like, we're winning stage, right? Yeah, exactly. Sure. So it, it is a little weird. All right. Um, so oh, we, Magog Bombay is a we, we keep the counters on the cheering side. Oh, we're thanks. Going. We we stay at 20. Yeah. Is that what it is? Correct. Yeah. Um, I got the the surprise contender. What does the surprise contender do in terms of damage? He's villainous. He attacks for two. And if he deals damage, we place a ratings counter on the champion. Okay. So we don't want to take the, that nope. guy either, right? Nope. Correct. Okay. The goblin can hit us, but he won't because Nova is super good. Uh, is Nova jumping in front of Magog for me? Or uh, well, one of Nova's characters? Uh, yeah, they definitely can. I just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what, yeah I mean, uh, it probably I... makes sense since you only have one turn with that, right? I have. Right. Yeah. So have yeah. Mo Moon Girl will jump in front. Got it. So Moon Girl takes three, four, five, six, seven, and she takes nothing. Correct. Okay, Surprise contender then... is going to be villainous. Uh, Are you I jumping have in tough. front with Nova? Oh, you have a tough. Okay. I have a tough. So two plus three is five. Tough. Ghost Spider is getting attacked. I'm an alter ego, sir. Ghost Spider. One, two, three. This goes to 12. Uh, Nova's getting attacked. Takes nothing, right? Correct. Takes nothing. Keep your tough. Goblin attacks you. Keep your tough. Yep. I'm getting attacked. I have a tough status card. So I am good. My tough goes away. Do I have retaliate? I think you have retaliate too. Weapons master? Yeah. Yeah. So he goes to 38. All right. And now we get our cards. All right. Dr. Strange gets stage fright. You are confused. And we add four threat to the main. Goes to 16. Uh, inferiority complex. Oh, my gosh. Mm. <laughs> oh, so that's, I that's perfect. Flip down and exhaust. It's perfect. Perfect. Uh, advance. Uh, that's got to just do it, right? One plus reveal this card. He has his retaliate and stalwart back again. Uh, sorry. So one, two. two. I'll count those in between on somebody's turn. Uh, caught off guard on Gwen Stacy. Uh, dang it. Georgie Porgy? No, no. I'm going to keep Georgie Poo. I'm going to get rid of uh, Unflappable. Ooh, Actually, no. Ugh, flow like water. Okay. No, no, no it's going to be Unflappable. It's a one cost, whatever. Here we go. Fun time. Eric always gets this card. Mana mm -hmm. Drain. Choose I a non wild life in my hand. I when thought that Mendo. was uh, I thought that was Steve's second card. Nope. Steve had oh. caught off guard and advance. Right. Got That's it. Correct. Yep. Got it. Uh, so, so this... Eric, you have to choose a resource type. We all draw two cards and then we discard all of one type. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. That's going to give me another encounter card. Oh, man. All right. Well, anyone? I get, I get boned I, by it. I was going to go with mental. I don't know if you guys have a preference. I only have so one. So if I lose mental, I won't be doing uh, master on Winds of Watum or eh, whatever. I have lethal intent for meth, so I can trigger all of these. But I, they're going to stay out anyway, but they could be doubled up. You know what? If you choose lightning, it doesn't matter. All right, I, I'm fine with lightning too. So let's. Are you guys good with lightning? I'm is that lightning. Anything you're giving up? This this Why is what I'm giving up for lightning. Your hand, Steve. You make weird choices because it's all defensive end. It doesn't matter. 
Okay. Got I it. would be so getting you're saying it's a wise play, not you're just frustrated. Exactly. No, no, it's the best choice because okay. I guess I'm I can lose physical all you want. I just have a double. I have no physicals. We're, we're going to be damned with with any whatever we yep. choose. So, so feel what, free to make a choice. Is fine. So do, do you guys have a preference? I, I'm okay with any one of the resources, obviously, except wild, but I don't think that's a choice. No, physical don't, don't would be it. my choice. Physical would also be my choice. Great. So, I have no physical, so yeah. Perfect. Physical. All right. We're doing physical. Thanks. So, right, we draw two, and then we lose every physical. Yeah. So give me another encounter card, please. Thanks, Eric. That's a pain in four-player over camera. Uh, <laughs> he is attacking you again. If you take no damage, we get two ratings counters. Well I done. I am taking no damage. Oh, yeah. That's 22, awesome. 18 to go. I get a troll. He's trolling me. Mm. I get an advance. Nice. Eesh, that's, that was twice that in one uh, villain villain turn. 9, 12, yeah. 15, 18. It's a zero, so it's only two, Good. so it goes to 20. All right. And my final card is Surge of Aggression. So he's got plus one, plus one. But if we kill him, we get 16 counters again, which is... Steve also has one more card. Two away, thanks. Master Plan. Oh, it's only the one we don't care about. Good night, Fetch Quest. Right, right, right. All right, that goes to Gwen Stacy. I have to use the restroom, so you just have to make some right. choices. So you guys, Master Plan is only side schemes. That doesn't hit the main scheme? Yeah. Okay. All right. Only you, you think about the other one. Right. There is that other one. Um, is that in Kang's deck that hits everything? I don't know. There's uh, Like Brant said, there's so many cards now to keep track of. Yeah. All right. So now my go for champions is He'll out of the game. Remind yep. me to tell him he needs to deal me an extra encounter card. Okay. Just remind him. Yeah, remind him. So remind I me go... to remind him. Right. Remind me to remind him that I'm going to be reminding you about yes. what needs to be reminded. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a very good plan. Yeah. So does anyone remember how much damage we just need to do to this guy? No, we yeah we need to do thirty eight. 38. Ouch. That's not a lot. But 38 doesn't win us the game. 38 doesn't win us the game? No. We're still too short. So we need to kill that, that dude. The contender? Yeah. If we kill the contender or if we get a defend the title, we just need to kill him. That's the strategy with Magog. You want him to get his upgrades. And you want a perfect defense that defend the title, so we only take him out once. Okay, I just see Brown Bay saying the surprise contender is there. Yeah. Is, is it? Are we saying if we kill these two, we win? Yeah, spreading lies is what you're thinking about, Eric. In the red oh. Zone. Right, yeah. Thank, thank you, uh, Gorism. Also, um, Brant, you need to deal Brian deal, a yeah, deal uh, face encounter down card. encounter card. Okay, and what did Steve do? Flip up. I, oh, is it my turn to go first? Oh, yes. yes. Nike. yes. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. I am. Going... Oh, sorry. I would never leave if it was the middle of my turn. That's oh, okay. <laughs> so, is is damage more important right now, you guys? Yes. Yeah, if, if, if we deal twenty eight and thirty eight, sixty six damage, we win. Okay. So I'm going to put an Indomitable. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to play uh, Ticket to the Multiverse. I'm going to scrap the ticket, take an extra turn, shuffle, ready everything, and draw seven cards. All right. Uh, uno, dos, Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Oh, the counting is back, and it's Spanish. And it's español, <laughs> amigo, eh? Como, como, como hacemos eso? Okay, vámonos. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, uh, we will be flipping up. I'm going to 
punch the contender and I'm going to use uh, expert defense and a web binding to do a ghost kick on the contender, which is going to deal six damage, eight damage. I get to ready trigger web two plus weapon. six, right? Your two damage plus six. Yeah. So that's eight. Okay. Uh, yes, how much health left? Uh, 20. 20, okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to punch him for another two. Okay. I'm going to use George Stacy to stack, statue a card in the back. Statch. Statch a card. <laughs> I'm going to stash some cards, guys. And then yeah, is there hard. something we can get rid of by spending resources or no? Nope. All right, well, I'm going to pitch, just knock them out. pitch three resources that do nothing for me right now. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Exactly. Uh, All right, that is Nova. Up, okay. okay, so there's there's 10 left on the contender? Uh, the contender has 10 damage, so he needs 18 to die. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm he putting damage 18. on him, not taking it off. Right, right, I can, okay. I can take it off if you want. Got it. Okay, he doesn't have retaliate, though, correct? Nope. All right, nope. I forget how that all works. All right, uh, let me see. Uh, anyone looking? need a helicarrier as well? I have I have it uh, available. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I, I don't need it, but thank you. So I already used my bunker uh, as an action while you guys, Steve, was taking his turn. So... I will use my helmet uh, to do a light speed flight just so I can. Let's just ping three uh, threat off the main. Yeah. It is down to 17. Do you want me to um, do that again, or is it better to focus again on attack? Because I can use Ms. Marvel. I think threat. Yeah, okay. Do threat. I, got I think we kill attack. contender this turn, control this, and kill him next turn. Okay, awesome. So then uh, I will use Ms. Marvel uh, to bring back light speed flight. I will pitch a power in all of us to play light speed flight again, removing three more threat. Okay. Um, I will do a basic thwart of one, uh, which will ready my helmet. Then I will use my helmet to do a pot shot, dealing four damage. Yep. And that is everything that I've got. Use, use those allies, man. You don't uh, need them. Brand use, use them. Well, they're both exhausted. I can't. Yeah, they're oh, exhausted from yeah, defending, dude. Exhausted, yeah. yeah. Well, Moon Girl defended. Ms. Marvel got exhausted so I could bring back the uh, light speed flight. Correct. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, turn goes over to Brant. Brant, if you leave me Groot, I have a 12 damage as one. Nice. We'll do it. Uh, well, I can't. I need to buff up Groot. Well, you lie. That's what All I'm right. saying. Well, Rocket will hit this guy for four then. Uh, I don't have a card to play. I'm so annoyed. Uh, I have intent. a helicarrier. If what you need it, I thought you were gonna lethal intent. Well, I, I don't have a thing to play down here. Is what I'm saying, so I could draw two. Oh well. <laughs> should I lethal intent or should I major victory attack Magog ready Nebula? And I would draw a card off of nowhere. I'd lose one of these lethal intents, but that seems better, right? So I will welcome aboard, trigger nowhere, draw a card. It's a wide stance. I don't really need that one. So then I will lethal intent for I pay resources. Yeah. So I can do five things. Yep. So I will deal four. I won't kill this guy, Brian, I promise, but I might as well bring him down. Him hard. Yeah, bring him down. Um I just have to do the math. Sorry. Twenty seven twenty two. So then I'll deal him four more with Weapons Master. He's at one. Nobody touch him. <laughs> Don't breathe. Uh, Don't one. breathe on him. He's about to fall over. Uh, I can gain a tough status card. That seems fine. And remove six threat because Stun and Confuse is irrelevant. Yeah. Beauty. 
All right. Then Major Victory will punch here for... Oh, no. He has an extra health. My plan. <laughs> <laughs> I he love when plans fall apart because of cards. <laughs> uh, Martin X will punch for one. I, maybe I should just save my tough statuses. Yeah. How much does uh, Magog have? 37. Okay. Gamora will thwart for two. And I'm just going to pitch Groot out of play because we don't need him. Yeah. Mm, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> I'm done. All right. Uh, I'm going to put an energy spear and an enraged on Groot. So plus four attack. <laughs> Groot for six. Yeah, love it. Groot for six. And because I have boot camp, my Hulk is worth six as well. Uh, I will then uh, power regression to do as one. Uh, so that's exhausting yeah. Groot. I was wrong. I left Hulk. him at two health. I lied. Yeah, I knew. I knew. 26, 28, yeah. right? Yeah. So that goes 27. I think. Oh, no, because it's overkill. So you don't take retaliate. Nope. That's right. So Which we did ten last damage. Oh, no, because you were dealing it directly to him. Yeah. yeah. Ten so he's down to 27, and we get. Eight ratings counters. Nice. All right. We're at 30. Uh, I'll go we just, need with, to, we just need to take him out, and we win. I'll go with these two plus energy to play Mansion. Mansion will draw me a card. Uh, I will go uh, Magic Blast to do Master of Mystic Arts for uh, double resource to do Crimson Bands. That's seven damage. 20. And then I will exhaust myself, use Helicarrier and Protective Ward to do another Crimson Bands for another seven. <laughs> 13. And... You have so many cards, Brian. How do you, how do you get all those cards, Brian? <laughs> I got ways. Yeah. What, are you playing a print and play hero? Yeah, yeah. it looks like it. Pretty much. Uh, and Wong is just going to heal me for one. <laughs> My Wong, 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 Wong. Longer. All right, I got three toughs. Uh, I would love one for the next round. Yep. I, I got I got defense for the round, and I got a lot of extra damage, so we should be good. Sounds good. And it looks like Nova still has a tough. Correct. Nice. All right, we just got to survive this. Famous last words. Plus one mm. card. Plus one hand size. Woo, I got another lethal intent. <laughs> Sweet. Actually, it, this would be pretty cool. I know we won't need it, but I could strengthen numbers these five to draw five cards to then play lethal intent. That's a go. pretty cool combo, actually. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, I need Groot for as one. No, I. It, yeah, we're good. <laughs> if we survive this, we're okay. Yes. All uh, right, he's Groot adding... has been the six. MVP for me. That's right. Groot is the MVP. All right, we do have a troll and a goblin that are going to mess with us. So, Ghost Spider is getting attacked for four and at least a one boost. I am going to defend for four. I'm going to play a Defiance, which is going to trigger four. flow like water oh, and, tr nice. and trigger my bracelet to draw a card. And he takes nothing. Yeah. All right, uh, then Nova's getting attacked. Wait, I'm going to defend for Nova. Nova has tough. a tough. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use defensive energy for a desperate defense, which is going to deal him another damage. Okay. He's at 11. I mean, technically, couldn't you have just waited for him to attack me to do that? I'm going to do it again. Oh. And draw another turn. Uh, he hits you for nine. What? <laughs> it's a four boost with a plus one, and he's already at four, so he hits you for nine. Oh, how much? How much defense did I have then? <laughs> Six. Uh, yeah. So wait, I did. So four, five, six. Can I do either a hero interrupt to remove three of that, or yes, you can. Can, can I just block yeah. that? You could force field projection it, you I can guess. Force field projection. Is yeah. it when anybody's going to take damage? Yeah. yeah. When a friendly character. Wow. Yep. Nice. Thank okay. you. There you go. So, so now we'll Steve do that. still gets to red. 
Okay, so I prevent three, and it deals three damage to an enemy. Nice. And if you want, I could, the three damage to an enemy, if you really want, you can put that to the goblin, since this is a physical card. Oh, no, just do it on Magog, because I think we can kill him on the... the, on the well, he's going to okay. lose his tough status to the goblin. That's the Yeah, idea. no, do it to the goblin, get rid of it. I, I, Steve, are you me. actually going to deal eight damage? Do you have Ghost Kick or something? I have one more Defiance, two, three, I have four more, five, four more uh, events. Okay, so eight? so get so Brand, get rid of the goblin. Okay, and then at least it'll keep my tough. And that then won't kill so, him. right? So Steve, you took three less damage. Yeah, so I took no damage. Yeah. Did you, did you trigger flow like water for desperate defense? Uh, yeah, because he was at thirteen, and you played a defense card and then another defense card. Yeah, I did so far. Two defense cards. Right, because he was at 27, and then two Crimson Bands brought him to 13, and now yeah. he's down to 11. Okay. Correct. I think I got it right. Nova got attacked. Nebula's getting attacked. Ghost Spider's blocking. I'm blocking. <laughs> Defensive energy for a desperate defense and an expert defense. You're not going to get me again. Bastard. It's a zero boost now that you do that. <laughs> yeah, of course. So two <laughs> triggers off of the defense, so he takes two damage. I get to ready again and draw another card. All right. All right, now he's attacking Doctor Strange. All right, I'm going to defend again uh, with a Defiance, which is going to deal him another How damage. are you ready because you're playing the Desperate Defenses? Desperate yeah. Defenses. Yep. Got it. Okay. All right, I am also uh, playing Defiance. I'm going to spend uh, one for a Never Back Down. And another for a never back down. So I'm going to deal three more damage. Okay. He's down to six. And I get to ready again. Steve, where's that electrostatic armor? I know. <laughs> right, that's disappointed. everybody. You defended everybody. There you go. Oh, yeah. And I have to trigger Undomitable to ready. There you go. Uh, an assault. Um, Are so you it's out? against you, Steve. Oh, is he, oh, is he def attacking me again? All right, I'm going to defend again. I have a tough if you need it. Yeah, yeah. as do I, I. And I have a warning, so we're fine. Did you even He's going to hit you harder. Or... If He'll add counters if you get hit. Fine. Block for me. <laughs> okay. Take your warning back. All right. Yeah, there's no reason to take damage, and then we lose the thing we're trying to do right at the end. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, it is a master plan on Nova. Nova, you love those master plans. Mm. <laughs> that that's, needs to be a new challenge, Steve. Get a yeah. quest, a side scheme, up to 100 threat. There you go. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Hey, it's a surprise contender. He's back. So he doesn't have a tough status card in this game. No, because he doesn't get revealed. It's break a leg. So you are stunned, Doctor Strange, and you take four damage. And finally, pump up the jam. Again. I'm going to use a warning on Doctor Strange just because. I, I can't put enough threat on this. I don't have enough. So I left. take three, uh, what? Three How much less? Four damage. Oh, three, yeah. Three instead? Mm -hmm. There's and a pile of right now. Yeah. Go ahead, Nova. Finish it off. Six damage. Oh, six damage. All right. Let's see what Call I for can an do action. here. Call for an action <laughs> as one. <laughs> I, in my hand, I only have thwart events, but I could <laughs> thwart for, uh, wow, three, six, nine. Oh, we I don't, need, we don't, need, we here, don't right? need that. Okay, so Moon Girl will uh, punch for two. Yep. Okay, uh, we can have Ms. Four. Marvel punch for one. Oh, sorry, I forgot this troll hit me, so I should have taken, lost my tough. Uh, Ms. Marvel punches for one, down to three. Yes. Yeah, Ms. Marvel's gone. I will do a basic for one. <laughs> Two. Uh, and then for fun, I will pitch this to do a light speed flight, remove three threat from a scheme. Nice. Uh, and here I'll pitch this to give myself an endurance, and I'll pass over to Brent. No, don't pass turn. I call for an action. Calling Legal for an action. Weapons master, four damage, dead. Okay, fair so enough. So... 
on that round, I had two sidearms I could have put on Hulk and Groot, so that would have been 14 as one. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, go. I don't know. It's yeah. like we all had – we didn't have major setups. We all got set up relatively fast. I wouldn't say we had slow boards, but that's where he seemed like he was really catching us because early on we didn't have the thing – right? I didn't have toughs out. Steve wasn't drawing defense events. We skipped the first go for champions. But once we had all that, like that is all just countering the god, right? Yeah. 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 It's just don't take damage I mean, in whatever way you can't and be prepared for events. Steve, and then it was just dealing with retaliation. Steve only had one good turn. It was the last turn. <laughs> right. My deck did exactly I was, what I what I built it to do. I was yeah. just doing as ones all day long. Like boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. <laughs> My deck, I deck it, kind of did what I was trying to do, but I was trying to also like defend for people. But it was fine because I could just spend the toughs to leave the characters on the table. Yeah. But I never played strength in numbers. That was the wasted card in my deck. Funny, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, I gave I Eric the I momentous kill, and all I could do was thwart. Exactly, Mark. Thank you. Yeah. It's yeah. fun when you do somebody else's challenge. Yeah, it's true. Like, all right. And I was like, oh, gosh, Magog's a pain. That's going to be hard. How do we keep it on that side? And then, you know, we did it. Yeah, that was the, the again with four players. It's it's a lot easier, right? No, it's uh, there's more leeway. Yeah. So how how did how high did we get on his ten? He 12? had ten out of twenty. Well, that's not so, bad. And but fetch quest one with twenty five, thirty five, thirty eight thread on it. <laughs> so to circle back around fetching. to something Mark said earlier about now that they nerfed Cosmo, Strange is not nearly as good and i just i just don't agree i think he I agree. is i think it was he was good he was good before cosmo he is good after cosmo oh, sure. cosmo just broke him yeah but they can't I, tell yeah. me how to play so yeah right. i'm using my cosmo <laughs> combo that's right yeah <laughs> so much for a slow loss no i str i straight asked them that question though in that interview i did which was like is this future proofing and they were like yes right so now they could make decks I didn't actually realize that people are doing it with Storm. She can use Cosmo because hers is technically a deck. And if you yeah. discard a card, it doesn't matter. Any, oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, right. anyone who has a deck to the side would right. be able right. to be it's affected just, by I don't, Cosmo. Does hers have a discard pile? That's the weird part. Does it because it's a deck by default have a discard pile? It's it's not a deck. It's basically it's environment. But it did count for Cosmo. The ruling was you could right. Use it. Well, right. you can put it on a red skull side scheme deck. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yep, Eric was an expert thwarter that game. He could not get the kill, the six damage. <laughs> right. Steve also didn't have six damage left in him. I had plenty. If if you uh, had the you. three, we would have killed him on his turn. No, we would have been close. Three. Yeah, yeah we needed three, three more. We needed three more. He decided to save his uh, one damage from his goblin. He's a fun fight. Like, he really feels like... I, it reminds me of that arena in Thor Ragnarok, you know? Yeah. Right. He's got that feeling, too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Definitely. We're friends from work. Um, but, <laughs> like, expert good. is definitely the biggest step up. I mean, I know a lot of people would say mojo just because even that much more threat is coming at you, so you've got to have a plan. But it feels like at least... Threat is something we're used to dealing with, where not taking damage is a whole different ballgame. Like, I don't, I don't, you can't, that's a funny thing. You can't speed Magog because if you kill him twice without getting the attachments, you don't win. Yeah, that's the problem, right? You want to let him get his stuff. Right. So it's tricky. You can't, uh, you can't speed him down. Yeah. <laughs> nice. No, I was happy, but I was, I was smoke surprised. Smoke Valkyrie in the basement. That's funny, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My warnings weren't as popular this game. They didn't. They didn't really save anyone. Yeah. Someone forgot to warn you that card. I mean, it's it. it's the same kind of thing, right? Like my strength and numbers didn't work as well because toughs and we needed threat removal and, and i needed your Groot, and you need it for the as one so then it was like i didn't really need those to draw cards and i really have a really low curve in this deck yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. i actually so, pulled any other doubles i had than the regular ones which 
who even knows if I needed those? It actually, it, well, it really worked out for me, uh, for my deck, that I was able to commandeer your Groot because then <laughs> since you already had the ally down, I was just like, okay, you know what? Stop trying to get my own Guardian ally down and just yeah. buff up Groot oh, for sure. and just keep Absolutely. using him. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't mind giving him to you at all. Cause, also because he can ready. I, exactly. So I can even make him tough. You can use him, and then I can still block with him, although then you can Exactly. Use him the so the thing with As One uh is man, it's just it's just good to use right off the bat. If you got your uh your Groot ally down and like a Hulk or a Wasp ally down, that As One is two for five damage. It's without even uh Voltroning these uh yeah. two characters. They're just it's so good, and it's only a two cost. As one, even though it's Alliance, man, you could just easily pay for it for yourself. Yeah, it's so you cheap. know. I played that. Is that what I played, Eric, when we did Drax? Did I play as one? I think Remember, no. it's so hard. We played a game. We just played. We weren't yeah. streaming. Yeah, <laughs> one of the rare ones where we yeah. weren't streaming. We right. were just playing, and I played Drax Aggression because, yeah, I'm finding all the Guardians heroes really the Guardians cards are so strong. Like I, I know Avengers is strong, I know Web Warriors, but like Guardian just having the Guardian trait is so good for all the aspects because there's a great card and yes. Welcome Aboard is super underrated. It's super but they not really to mention awesome. that they have very you. premium allies, mm -hmm. you know? It's, like yeah. playing Rocket, he can remove two threat or deal four damage to a minion. Like those are things you're looking for in an ally. But that's Gamora gives you a card, Drax is straight damage, like they've got very good allies. So the welcome aboard, most people don't think about it, but it's good for any other player. That's true. I could have played it for you guys. I, I totally didn't even think that way. Right. And it that, can be played on anybody. Because it's actually yeah. better for another person than because technically, look, if you have a three cost ally, you're still spending two cards. You're still spending three cards to put three down, right? Yeah, I should have thought that when I flipped down, I used it to pay stuff, but I probably could have seen if anybody else needed to play an ally. And I mean, I know it, know, but I don't I know it in so the moment. Many times I had Marble Boy in hand that that could have oh come in gosh. handy perfectly. Man, mm. could have had Marble terrible, Boy. terrible team player. Oh, sorry. We get what do we get? Two, three, four. We get sixteen, so we go to forty-six counters. I guess we kind of knew that we won. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's interesting. He doesn't have, Oh, he does. He has pump up the crowd. So he has contender pump up the crowd, his two attachments and himself. Right. So that's five nope. different ways. He's also got the, uh, the other ones that uh, if you take no damage, he's oh, got right, right, right. there's a whole bunch of ways. Yeah. To yeah. Try to make to answer you it was funny game. that we only did defend the title once, I believe. Yeah. Because I, so. I drew it and somebody else drew it when we were alter ego. No, well, yeah, it, it, it adds two. I drew it and then obviously I couldn't defend it properly. Yeah. Right. No figure. To answer Brombe, Hulk is a great ally as long as you don't basic attack with him. Is that, it's true. <laughs> Not in Rush. He's amazing. That, Sorry, okay, I, well, I feel that's like I'm harping different. on that. I'm just saying he's so good. If you have an all punch deck, he's amazing. Sure, Two that's, for yeah. billions. Well, that's <laughs> where that's where it differs. If you craft your deck with a bunch of punches, then Hulk it gets in three really, turns. Really he's good. two for fifteen, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, obviously, you always have the chance in any deck of drawing a non-punch. So there's no yeah. guarantees. And well, yeah, because your kit your kit automatically has yeah. some mentals, some lightnings, all that stuff. Unless you play Hulk in the Hulk kit. What paradoxal right there? Well, it's the multiverse. Yeah, I mean, let's say he's Red Hulk, the aggression right. version. There you go. There you go. So that was interesting, Eric, because you were playing Nova. Like he's so different, multiplayer and solo, kind yeah. of two player. Where that card that readies him over and over is just ridiculous in solo. Right, because yes. his own yeah. cards remove threat, kill minions, all that kind of stuff. But also, um, we, we but and and I didn't play it at all because I didn't have the side schemes and the minions to right. to work there was against. Nothing. There was yeah. There's basically that card would have been lost right now. Right, exactly. So yeah, that that I just used it for resources every time. But you really out. took you really took advantage of his aerial trait do, do you have to be aerial for the yes he, he, well, he he needed to be aerial for yon roll 
Um, yeah. So obviously yeah. his helmet comes in uh, for that. And then I just put in as many wild cards as I could. You know, the two power of justices, the two all, uh, what is it? Power really in all of us. Like yeah. Miss Marvel, ironically, right? Because he's playing mm -hmm. all these cheap events. He's able to recur them. They have, yep. it's kind of like they're getting pumped up by paying for them, right? Instead of her using her upgrades to pump things up. He just doesn't yeah. have the card draw, but the way he has it is with the bonus hand size. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. the other thing I put in my deck as well was a uh, quite a few of these justice served, which unfortunately didn't come into play because yeah. just the timing of everything, most of those schemes had so much threat on them that I, I, w I wouldn't yeah. be able to use these like every round like I wanted and to. I think that's the that's the thing. I think you would have been better served with crisis averted. Ah, I see or, what you did there. there you go, right? <laughs> it's yeah, a, yeah, crisis averted with an overwatch uh, would have been uh, the better uh, combo. Yeah, not even necessarily overwatch here, although you could remove it from pump up the crowd. And but I think those are the only two side schemes in the deck. Yeah. And I'm surprised you didn't run the, the love of justice, passion for justice there. Because those are wilds, and then they boost your event your sword events. By yeah. Plus he's one of the ones right. that can use those really well, that yeah. and multiplayer, like even the odds, but passion for justice is another card. It's not very good in solo. Right. You don't need the right, boost yeah. and you need the double. Like it doesn't feel worth it versus just playing a power of and a for justice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But having just it as a power of for resource. justice removes four yeah. passion for justice. You can use it like, cause you're thinking very combo. -y, Steve, you want to pull something off. But in terms of efficiency, like just play clear the area and draw a card. You know what I mean? But, the, but then you're clearing the area is three threat and then draw a card. Right. But how often do you need that in solo? More often than not, most sites yeah. you come in with three, maybe four. Yeah. I mean, you'd save your hero so that you could use your hero, right? Because if you did two, we'd clear the area and one from your hero. But now you yeah. can punch with your hero or heal. So there's that benefit. But. I don't know. I feel like Passion for Justice isn't isn't great in lower player count. Like it just doesn't. It, it's really good when you can start to get those really big combos and be like, I'm gonna problem solvers. That's where we're really seeing Overwatch and problem solvers and even the odds do work. Right? Is we're pulling yeah. all these side schemes in multiplayer. Then we're pumping mm -hmm. up those cards. Then they're moving across the board. And then we're saying now trigger Overwatch to do it again. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, or, it's going to be crazy with the player side schemes. That combo of stuff in multiplayer is going to be great. yes, that's going to yeah. be great. Yeah, you just because you always put it on the main. So just thing you have to remember. Uh, so let's say you remove uh, crisis averted, and there's only like three threat on that that scheme. Even though you're removing six or seven, if you have an Overwatch, you're only you only did remove three. You didn't remove six or seven. So yeah. that's what you got to be careful with when uh, when you're running those cards. Just a little mechanics there. Yeah. Yeah. So same thing with the other one. Sorry, Eric. Um, the aggression one feels similar to me. Like there's certain heroes where it just makes sense. Like Nova would be one of them. And then in multiplayer, it gets a lot stronger when you're playing these widespread cards, right? Like giving things plus one or where they need a certain resource to trigger. It's good, but power ups to play for like drop kick is better in solo in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Well it's a different style of play, right? I'm saying one is better or worse. They're just different ways to play, but one feels smoother is probably what I'm saying. Like if you just mm -hmm. drop kick somebody, draw a card, deal four, you know, with whatever you're resource. still happy. You're still happy. Yeah. It. You don't really need yeah. the plus one. You don't need to deal five damage. Like that's not no, a deal. you don't. But it's yeah. so one is one, right? It's a resource yeah. that you're spending that is giving you value so it's a damage for a resource right. which technically you wouldn't get normally so you would you would have spent it and not get anything from it so i'm looking i'm talking about it in a more yes calculated i need to deal this much damage audacity needs to be in your deck that the yeah, other yeah. one needs to be there because if you're doing the rush strategy these add to your combo potential right 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 and it adds to that total which you're trying to get to it's tricky though like if you run audacity and those two and some double re like suddenly you're not going to draw your attack events for rush like it's going to get too diluted you know i don't know it's but you're not putting allies see see that's, that's the thing the in rush I, I wouldn't even putting any allies in my deck i would just go right. 
Well, yeah. no, there's some good ones. Sorry, Eric, I know I said that. Miles is good. Hulk is good. Mm -hmm. Thor, Lady Thor is good. Oh, but it's uh, four, right? It's four resources, so that's five cards for for four for damage, five damage. It's not that good. It's if you for do who? the math, it's not that who good. Who are you talking about? Like a, a four cost here, uh, ally. Lady Thor costs four. She deals three when she comes in, and then she deals so she's four for nine. If she comes in turn one, she, you're correct. On turn three, she's terrible. Okay. I'm if thinking long term, right? It's like if you play Drax, he deals three every turn. So he's three for nine. Correct. Well, yes, Miles four. is three for eight. He deals four the turn he comes in, and then two, and then two. Yes. So he's kind of like a web kick, but on yeah. three separate turns. Right, right. Yeah, but you got to think long term. And the, all the allies are bad if you're playing them on turn three. Except in Star Lord, where you then go down swinging, and so you just massively increase their damage and blaze of glory, and it's like have a great day. Have a great, <laughs> have a great day, Eric. What were you trying to say? I'm so sorry. Oh no, all good. Um, well, because uh, we're, we're uh, started off talking about Nova, and uh, and then the, a little bit of the comparison about solo versus multiplayer, mm -hmm. which I know there's been a lot of talk uh, lately, especially about solo versus multiplayer. And I was just thinking how it's really interesting that you can have a character which in solo can just be a powerhouse or mm -hmm. in multiplayer against a certain villain can be a powerhouse. You know, where if we were playing against Zola or the Sentinels or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, and especially if he was aggression, then your your strategy is completely different. But in this case, you know, with Magog, with very few minions or ones with just a lot of health and what, two side schemes, maybe three at the most, all he's really doing is just trying to help manage the board and keeping that threat under control. Uh, I don't think I attacked once the entire game. Well, yeah. I, think it, I, I think a good. Oh, sorry, Brian. I'll let you go. I was just, I was just gonna say that I think that's one of the things that makes this game so replayable is mm -hmm. that within each hero and against across uh, the tons of villains we have with modulars and everything, they can play uh, completely different. Yeah, like you're just saying, you're. Uh, you put him in the right setting in aggression and you just go off with the unleashed Nova force. Right. And you're just damage, 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 draw, 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 ready, ready, ready. Right. But yep. in a different scenario, he won't do any of that. Like yep. in this scenario, unleashed contenders, you're uh, with a couple of the minions. You, you're never going to do that. You know, if you're in aggression, so you're probably going to shift your strategy. It's one of the great things about the game is the way you can play with different heroes against different villains against different modulars. Yep. Infinite replayability. Yeah. So yeah. one of the, comp I think I thought where you were going with that is like, how do we compare like a good solo hero versus a good multiplayer hero and looking at Gamora, just for example, mm -hmm. Gamora phenomenal in, in solo, right? She's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. she's taking care of everything without just oh, yeah. Jack of all trades, put her in, a, put her in a multiplayer deck. She seems, <laughs> and then oh. put Waylay in, and then how is it just going to go <laughs> yeah, there? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then put Waylay, and then Eric loves that. No, no. But that's that's where you see the difference, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, that one damage, it's there, mm -hmm. but it's not as impactful. But right. to the point, I have a couple of things here. But like then, her sword in multiplayer becomes even yeah. better because yeah. now you can kind of play that long term. Like, let me just trigger events and just be pinging damage with the sword everywhere. So the sword in solo is kind of like icing on the cake, but in multiplayer, it can it's be your card. strategy, right? Yeah. So you can really build around that. And so that actually goes, again, I want people to watch the thing from Nelson, but Tony was talking about like feedback on heroes, and it wasn't always just, are they weak? Are they strong? These cards, but also like, are they fun is a big part. Like, am I having fun playing these heroes? And like, what can these heroes, like, are they thematic? as well as what can these heroes do and what can they not do? Or is there only one avenue? So like Drax to me has probably got one of those that to the community feels very strong down that protection route, right? Yeah. And so what else can they do? And so Gamora is a great example where it's like, oh, they throw the sword in and suddenly it's like, oh, I have this different way to play. We're just talking about Nova, like, hey, he's aerial, so he can do all this thwarting, low curve kind of style build instead. 
And that's huge props to the designers to make heroes that mm -hmm. aren't just always the same way, obviously also being able to play off the aspects or their traits, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, well, that's yeah. where that's where I love to deck build. That's where like when I'm showcasing videos, I'm showcasing how can we amplify what that character can do, like diving into like the design of the idea, like Cyclops, like really paying off all those tactic cards that we normally don't do, right? We just we think about the ones he has and we look at Cyclops and we're like, oh, I'm just gonna put every X-Men in. But then we, we forget that his whole shtick is about playing off tactics. So it's easy to get kind of like confused. Yeah. Um, well, especially with like some of the decks that get built on CDB. And I'm, I have nothing wrong with CDB. Uh, but I, I feel like sometimes if somebody brings a, a, an idea and then people gravitate towards that idea without exploring other stuff, you, you kind of lose focus, right? You can just kind of like, ah, okay, it's just noise. Well, one of the great things about when a new hero comes out and you see them caring about certain keywords, it makes you go back through your library of stuff and be like, oh, they, they printed a card that, mm -hmm. that says that keyword. Now I can mm -hmm. use that on this character too. Amazing. Yeah. Like, you're, uh, like, like you're talking about with Cyclops and the whole tactic trait. Well, assess the situation is a tactic. There's other tactic yeah. cards that he can yeah. go pull. Just makes makes him seem like okay this guy is way stronger than i thought he was he can pull so much from the library already yeah, yeah. i was I amazed how many tactic cards were already in the game when exactly. right, right, came yeah out. yeah i think a big part that gets a little tricky too with heroes is it's like there's a lot about like efficiency and kind of the one deck mentality which is absolutely steve what you and i don't have yeah. but some people want like this is the cyclops deck that I can now play Cyclops through every villain in the game. So they want right. a deck that just kind of works at its best, and they're not necessarily looking for, like, what are the different ways I can play? Or power level. So people want a deck that will beat Venom Goblin, Ronin, Magneto, Loki. Like, they're looking towards those really hard villains, and they're not as interested in, like, what can I fight Risky Business with? What can I fight Absorbing Man with? Whereas you're just rotating the villains you're fighting because that's more fun, right? Yeah. And you're showing this deck works because the villains aren't the highest tier ones. And I think some people, like, they just want a deck that's going to beat everything. So there's certain decks that do make sense. They run most efficient. It, you can put a 50-card deck, like Villain Theory just put the Nifty 50 Star-Lord deck up there, right? And that's getting very popular because people are like, ooh, how does 50 work? And you can put 40. But like 43 and 44 are like the death now. Like people are like, why isn't this more efficient? Get rid of three cards. You know what I mean? Because they're not wrong. A 43 card deck is less efficient than a 40. It just doesn't really matter. No. Right? You, yeah, whatever you're trying to pull off, you can still pull off. But if you're trying to fight the hardest thing on standard two expert two, it will be inherently worse. Of course. If I'm going over 40, I like to look at how many permanents I'm actually going to have in terms of, like, we always talk about deck thinning. Oh, I'm going to have an endurance. I'm going to have an unflappable. I'm going to have all of this. Okay, right. well, I could probably go over a few over 40 and it not matter because 15 of the cards that I am running from the 25 or plus uh, that I'm adding to the 15 cards, 15 of them are going to be permanent. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah it makes so. perfect sense. All right, I gotta go to bed. Yeah, same here. Yep. No, I got six more hours of talking to do. So. All right, let's do okay. it. Let's do it. You want to use all your streamyard time? Let's do That's it. That's right. All right, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, yeah, you can catch me tomorrow morning at eight thirty. I'm going to be playing Wolverine Protection Rush. I have two different decks. I definitely think one is better than the other now that I play them a bunch. But I'll play test them a bunch of variety of villains, and I actually want to take one of the decks and put it in Spectrum because I think that's where it's going to work best. So I will do that. Uh, and also, Right Brain Rollers releases this week, and Eric and I talk about Miller Zoo, which is a zoo, I believe, that's in Canada. I think it's in your town, Steve. Um, Miller Zoo, yeah. It's like a very famous zoo that rehabilitates animals and stuff. So in Montreal. It's a, it's a game based on that. Yep. Oh, so cool. I'll have to look at it. Check it out. Uh, so we'll be reviewing that game as well as a bunch of others. So check out Right Brain Rollers. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you soon. I'm The Brant. I'm Brian. Eric. And I'm Spidey Steve. <laughs>
<laughs> and until next time, we hope you step into the portal. Have a good night, everybody. Ciao, ciao. Nice.